Hello you're eight, and welcome to a lesson about the earth and the structure of the earth. Have a look at this first slide. What do you think the earth might be like inside? Um, just think about that for a second. Uh, don't necessarily draw a picture because uh, we're going to do plenty of that but think about it. What do you already know? Uh, maybe you want to pause the video. Think for a second. Okay uh, so we've got a video I'd like you to watch and uh, this is the URL for the video at the bottom here. So pause this video. Um, this is there's also a link to this in Show My Homework. So pause this, go back to Show My Homework, watch this video. It's the Kurzgesagt video, and then come back when you're done. Do that now, please. Okay, so really interesting stuff about the Earth there, particularly in the middle, um, about the structure of the Earth, which is totally relevant to this lesson. So your first task really is to have a look at this worksheet it is attached as a pdf attached to show my homework i don't necessarily need you to print this you could quite easily uh, draw this image uh, of the earth kind of cut open and i would like you to add the layers to this drawing and it would help if you search the internet to find out what you can say about these different things. Some of it was mentioned in the video and some of it you may need to find elsewhere but this is really a find out for yourself kind of task. So pause this video now and complete this task. It should take you anywhere between 15 minutes and half an hour. Okay brilliant hopefully you've done that. There's a couple of other things I'd like to show you. So the first one is um, talking about plate tectonics. So so far, we've looked at the fact that the, uh, the crust is the outer layer and that we walk around on the crust, we live on the crust. Uh, the oceans, they sit on top of the crust. And in particular, I'd like to look at this model here. So this is a model of the Earth. And you can tell that it's a globe, you can tell that it's rotating. And what I'm drawing your attention to these boundaries between different areas and um, these are plates so the crust is actually broken into lots of different pieces and those pieces are kind of floating on top of the mantle because there's a viscous layer between the edge of the mantle and the bottom of the crust viscous is like a really really thick liquid okay it's not we, we tend to describe the the mantle is being solid because it mostly is but it does creep it does move and these plates do move very very slowly on top of them and this just really in the, this this is showing you really just what those uh, plates look like and if I move around you can see that there's a big Antarctic plate and the Arctic doesn't have its own plate it's made up of the North American plate and the Eurasian plate um, some of the plates are really small compared to others, and some of them are massive. Look at the size of the Pacific plate. It's huge. You tend to have oceanic plates, which have the oceans on them, and then you have continental plates, which have mostly land on them. And that kind of indicates whether they're going to uh, collide with each other or slip underneath. The oceanic plates tend to slip underneath the continental plates. Um, so what we're going to do now is have a look at uh, another video and this is the final video I want you to look at and this uh, again is can, uh, is linked in show my homework so pause this have a look at the video and when you've done that you don't need to come back to this this is the end of this video um, but yeah enjoy see what you think of uh, this video bye